the morning devotion. We're here to encourage you through the word so that you can be strong in the faith and live victoriously in, in Christ. Christ. Let us open with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, I pray that you would anoint your word this morning. God, you know who's listening and you know where, Lord, they need encouragement and what they need to hear. So we pray and we agree together that, Lord, you would help us to apply your word to our life. Yes. Lord, in Jesus' name, help those that are sick. Father, for Dr. Scotty, Lord, touch him. Lord, heal him. For those that are sick in the hospital, for those, Lord, that are living in fear, God, protect those who have chose not to get the vaccine and protect those who have chose to get the vaccine. Yes, Lord. Lord, put your hand upon your people. Yes. Deliver us, Lord, from oppression. And Lord, let your joy and your love shine through. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. 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 The Lord is good and amen. greatly amen. to be praised. Christ. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Amen. That's it. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Yes. Blessed is the man that trusts in him. That was a verse from yesterday. Yep. Psalm 34 in my Bible has this big thing that I wrote with an arrow pointing to it. And it says, good psalm. There are one, one two, three, <laughs> four, five. Five verses out of 22 that are underlined with little notes or something next to it. Out of Psalm 34, there are two Bible verses that I had memorized early in my Christianity. The one, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. And the verse that we're going to pick up on in verse number 13 says this. Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. That's verse 13. What does that mean? What does that mean? Keep your tongue from evil evil. Well, evil means just what you would think it means. <laughs> Don't let your mouth say things that are not godly. Keep your tongue from evil could mean don't stop telling dirty jokes. Stop telling half truths. Mm -hmm. Stop telling lies. Stop confessing things that you know are contrary to God's word in your life. If there's something in your life that you're dealing with, something that that seems like God was working with you in it and you have pushed God away from that and said, don't touch this in my life. And eventually you have come to accept it as part of your life and you've allowed sin to come in and take over and begun to call it acceptable it's time that, that you would stop confessing that. Instead, if you want to confess something, confess, confessing that you have sinned and you have fallen short of the glory of God, this is okay. But confess that we serve a God who was able to bring you out of no matter where you are, mm -hmm. no matter who you are, no matter what you've done, no matter what you're doing, no matter how old, no matter how young, Amen. Jesus loves you. Amen. And God cares for you greatly. And he wants to see you succeed in this life, but even more so, he wants you to succeed in eternal life. Amen. life ever after. He made a way for you to get to a place that you don't deserve. Yes. On a road that you're not able to travel against incredible odds that you will probably never ever succeed in. And that is done through what Jesus did. We need to, as Christians, confess Jesus. Yes. Let our tongue speak words of encouragement. The Bible said, let not corrupt communication <laughs> proceed out of your mouth, but instead, but, that which is good for the use of edification. Yes. To edify somebody means to build them up. Mm -hmm. Encourage you them. Know, have you encouraged somebody recently? Mm. Have you? Have you? 
Yeah. Have you patted somebody on the back and say, hey, that's mm -hmm. great. Randy made a great breakfast this morning. A funny thing is, it was made out of a poached egg. <laughs> it was good, sprinkled with a little Creole. Two small, thin pieces of Spam, <laughs> fried Spam in a pan, which it, with, with a little bit of Creole, which is incredibly good. And a couple crackers with jalapeno jelly in between them. <laughs> little Ritz crackers, not Ritz. No, saltines. Yeah, saltines. Saltines. saltine crackers. Saltines. Boy, was that breakfast good. She did a great job. And I'm <laughs> thankful that I have a wife that makes great stuff. You see, when I did that, she felt good. It yes. brought a smile to her face. Find something good in somebody and compliment them on it. Encourage them. If you know somebody that's serving the God, uh, serving God, if you know somebody that's doing that, and you see their faith in action, compliment them on it. Say just, just brother, sister, you know, so and so. I'm so glad to see you doing that. You know, if you're in a restaurant and you see another another table and they bow their head in grace, stop by, and let them know. Hey. It's so good to see you guys saying grace. Amen. Live your Christianity out loud. That's just one verse. Mm -hmm. Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. On my, in my, my translation, I have the, the New King James Version. It says, and your lips from speaking deceit. Well, that's what Don't I was about to tell to yeah. is, is deceitful. <laughs> what would deceitful be? Well, just twisting the truth yeah speaking in ways to draw somebody in for your own purpose yeah you know we see a lot of the <laughs> politicians do we, that we, we kind see of a stuff. lot of the news doing that <laughs> that, it, that is twisting the truth yeah to, yeah to make it so that they can woo you in did the god, enemy did that did god really say that yeah is that what god really meant yeah mm, no I'm going to go with the Word of God, and God said it. I read that all scriptures given by inspiration of God, and that it's profitable for doctrine, reproof, correction, and instruction in righteousness. If it was inspired by God, and, and that was specifically making reference to the Old Testament as inspired by God, meaning Genesis all the way to Malachi, were the books that were available at the time that that was written by the Apostle Paul, mm -hmm. that this Old Testament, these verses, these Psalms that we've been reading are inspired by God and they're there to teach us. Again, we've covered one verse. <laughs> Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and, and pursue, pursue it. it. What a great life application mm -hmm. that would be for yes. your life. Depart from evil. I don't know about you, but it seems to me like I see a lot of evil stuff yeah. going on. Go away from it. Depart from it. And do good. How's that for a great commandment of God? Yeah. Depart from evil and do good. And then seek peace and pursue it. Blessed Amen. is the peacemaker, Amen. for theirs is the kingdom of God. Jesus said that my peace I give unto you. Mm -hmm. Not as the world gives, but a peace that passes all understanding. Mm -hmm. How can you be at peace in the midst of a storm? Because when you're looking up and you see the greatness of God, you realize how little and tiny your, sto your storm is compared to the God that loves you and serves. And it, when you know that he's on your side, when you know that he's got good plans for you you know like he told Jeremiah that he knows the plans I have prepared for you you know God knows what he has for us we just have to keep faithful look up it's just like if you're in hospital and you're getting ready to have a surgery you know okay that surgery can be your storm but you trust that doctor that's going to be doing the surgery even mm -hmm. though you're not you're not going to see the process going on you trust it. Well, we got to trust God, <laughs> the great physician, Amen. the great Lord God Almighty that loves us and cares for us, who keeps everything running perfect on this earth for us to live on it. His peace. His peace. We don't understand it. Cause nope. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd rather live in it. Amen. Join us tomorrow at 7 a.m. when we look at two types of people. 
yeah. from verse number 15 and verse number 16 <laughs> of Psalms, if the Lord wills. Yes. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow morning at 7. Love you. Keep a praise on in your heart. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Joyce, you guys have a <laughs> blessed Wednesday. Amen. And thank you so much for joining us. Yes. There is an online link for giving. We appreciate your support yes. financially. It helps us yes. to continue doing the things that we're doing. Uh, I, I believe that God is going to make a way where there seems to be no way Amen. and provide uh, for us to continue to do this. We love you and thank you. We'll see you tomorrow morning.